All right, welcome everyone to Cooper's Creek. This is Cooper's Creek, isn't it? Hi. Cooper's Creek? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Don't fall over. No. Oh. <sighs> So we're just checking it out now. There's a bit of a river here with a river crossing. Not that we're going to do it, yeah, it's all but all we're going to check it out. So, all the rocks. We used to come out here. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, and it was rough. I bet. And uh, Luke's younger brother Paul drove the GU out there. No problem. Yeah. yeah. So um, he did a bit of bloody wheel lifting and bloody bouncing, but. The Thompson River Canoe Trail, so you can canoe the river. Yeah. Oh wow, you can too. This is, uh, so this is the entrance, we're going to see when we have a walk. Yeah, you can drive down through it now. Oh yeah. Because it's nice and... Uh, so it's levelled it, and graded it and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. What's up the other side? Oh, there's a big track down up into the body mountain, oh, top yeah. of the mountain across the top. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's pretty steep, is it? Yeah. Mm. Oh. It's doable, but yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not uh, damaging doable. It's, no. uh, there you go. That's the uh, Thompson, what? Thompson River Thompson crossing, River, creek yeah. crossing. Go there. So we're at the Walhalla. Walhalla Station? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's like a really old station here. The Goldfields Railway. Yeah, the Goldfields Railway, so just going to check it out. It's quite interesting. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure too much, because we don't have tickets. So. Yeah, you got the uh, station trolleys down there. Okay. They closed the um, the gates 40 minutes after the last train. Yeah. So you'd be kind of screwed, I reckon. Last train, going to Yeah. <laughs> ah, very interesting. Very cool. And uh, yeah, just a nice area in general. morning it's very cold in Walhalla today so I'm going for a bit of a walk to check out the town just to see what it's like and uh, yeah dates back quite a long time um, this site here I'm currently looking at it's not here anymore was the Criterion Hotel um, built and operated in 1867 so this is all that's really left of the site As you can see it's not a lot fire pit there a sign up in the background there just says it's the site of Jacobs Criterion Hotel. It was de licensed on the 31st of December 1913. So, the site in here was where the hotel once stood. Um, yeah, keep walking down the road, see what else we can find. And uh, yeah, there should be some interesting things. I know there's a pub down here that's actually operational. 20 people only live in Warhalla as of today and uh, it was just quite interesting so um, little cottage you can stay at I'm not sure what that is over there oh, it looks like it's like some more older buildings but yeah Interesting to see what's uh, going on down here. 
uh, in the way of the site. There's plenty of little bits and pieces and signs to tell you about the place. We'll check them out as we walk down the road. Um, very cold up here, very windy. So hopefully uh, you can hear me over that because the wind is ripping right through. I don't know how loud that is. What's this say? Site of Guada's wine shop. So there's a wine shop here. Okay, cool. From the main town. So, a bit of a read, have a pause if you need to. So general gist here, first issued the wine license in 1891 and the cell was dug into the side of the mountains you can see today and uh, that's what it looked like in 1906. Yeah, this is a gold mining area too which is uh, interesting, plenty of things to look at. So this is Spets Cottage here. So it was uh, built by a Swedish born guy in the early 1870s. And um, it was then sold to another mining uh, family up here um, until 1943. And there was a term to sale. The daughter remained in the house until her death in 1944. And it's ongoing restoration. So I don't think we're going to go in there. But we're going to have a look. So yeah, this is a cottage here. It's uh, being restored constantly. I can't go any further, obviously. But. So this one here is about the Walhalla Cricket Ground. So it's on top of a hill, 200 metres above road level. So um, I'm not hiking it. I'm not going to even check it out because I'm not fit. But uh, that's the staircase, and you follow that staircase all the way up. This is the Star Hotel. Last of all, how 14 original hotels to survive the town's decline after 1915? If you'll never read, feel free to pause. And learn some history. Onwards we go. Still it's around the next corner. This is the old Bank of Victoria bank vault. Very cool. Thank you. 
Hallo in me. Alright, so this is the old uh, fire station in here, a bit of a museum. Have a fire brigade, hose cart, fire cart, the horse would go on. It's pretty cool. So this is the Star Hotel down the road. This is prior to a fire um, in 1951. Look at the old cars. Pretty cool. So that photo was like right here. Where all these old cars were. On the bridge, on the road, just here. Very cold to get a walk from where they were in the past. And see a picture beforehand. So that's the main kind of township of Warhalla, or the main street. And there's a few things to do here. Got a gold mine tour. Got a train ride you can go on, it goes through all the valley. And it's probably worth checking out. Yeah, yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down to uh, the Warhalla township down here and everything you can do. And I should tell you how to get there. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.